There are many of frightening stories about ways to get to hell. Which I don't know why anyone would want to get to hell at all, but that's beyond me. But in Pennsylvania, there's a couple ways to get there if you want. Here are three urban legends of ways to get to hell in the Keystone State. Probably one of the most famous urban legends in Pennsylvania is the Seven Gates of Hell over in York County. Off of Trout Run Road in Helm Township, it's said to be one of the most haunted places you can go. The legend starts out with one gate that you can see during the day. But you're not really going to be doing that during the day because in the ritual, you will have to go through the first gate at night. Because after that is when all the other gates will be seen. Because they are said to be invisible during the daytime. When going through the first one, things seem to stay normal. But as you go through each one, more and more strange things start to happen. Such as hearing things, seeing things, such as ghosts and demons coming out, till the last one said to drive a person mad and then take them to hell. But in my understanding, no one has ever gone past the fifth gate. The legend states that there was once a scene of tragedy due to an insane asylum raging building fire that was back in the remote area. Police and first responders were said to try and get there to help the patients and workers, but couldn't get there on time because of how thick the forest was and how far back the asylum was. Some say that the patients that escaped with the fire were very violent and not being able to relocate them, the police gathered them and shot them so that they couldn't cause any more trouble and then left the bodies. And that's what brought the evil to the area to create the gates of hell. It is also said that there is a circle in the woods next to the first gate, where Wiccans would do rituals. Bouncing off of that, I heard there was another tale that there was a scientist instead of an asylum who had a lab house in the back and did various experiments on animals and even humans until the police found out and arrested him. People would speculate that he was experimenting in magic and one of the experiments was with the supernatural that led to the gates materializing. Now it's fitting based off of this legend why the area is called Helm, which is spelled H-A-L-L-A-M, but was originally called Helm as in H-E-L-L-A-M, meaning Helltown. Now why would anybody call a place Helltown? Well due to a huge sulfur pit that was by the old coaching house in 1793 that would have gas coming out of it looking like boiling brimstone making the settlers at the time think that there was a gate to hell in the area but it was around 1902 when the e was taken out of hellum to keep the hell out but if you go into the town the township still has the e in it being hellum township Well, now we go over to Downingtown in Chester County, right by the infamous Twin Tunnels, which I'll have to tell you about that story at some point. You can find a similar legend with Gates to Hell. There's an old tale of two rusted iron gates off of Sawmill Road that close off a mansion which is now abandoned for the thrill seekers to take their chances. A terrifying event happened which ended in a father taking the life of his entire family with the gun. The building has been left the same since then, even with the bullet holes in the walls. The roadway is just a gravel ground that leads to the house riddled with no trespassing signs, rumored to even have Satanists and cult practice magic and rituals in the area. Some even have said there are portals for angels to go down to hell, which is odd but I'm not aware of the full story. There aren't any gates anymore just rumors about seeing lanterns glowing from the abandoned house supposedly the ghost of the past even claiming that the fence entrance is where the gates used to be some even say they've been chased off by odd looking dogs or what they seen coming from hell through the gates
Well, we come to our last story, the H tree. Now, if you go to Lansdale in Montgomery County in Pennsylvania, you might see a tree that looks like the shape of an H. Now, what does that H mean? Well, some would say that the H stands for hell. The tree used to be on top of a rock, but now it's gone due to a development for houses wrecking the area and taking down the tree. But the thing is that it's actually not one tree though. It is actually two together that made the shape. So what is the deal with a tree shaped in the letter H and how is it a gate to hell? So here's the thing, there is supposedly three H-shaped trees in the world that all lead to hell, or at least make a portal to it. So how does one get to hell through these trees? See, the thing is that if you walk in the middle of the H-tree six times and then jump off the cliff, the ground would open up and take you to hell. Once again, I have no idea why anybody would want to do that or how someone would know how to do that. But these are just urban legends and these are Pennsylvania's Gates to Hell. <laughs>